Hey guys, today I'm doing a battery replacement on an HP 15 laptop. Uh, the user reported just poor battery life overall, just a really small amount of charge when, when you fully charge it up. And so this one needs to be internally replaced on like your traditional stuff. And with this HP 15, you want to remove the bottom screws. And one of those bottom screws that just got removed holds the optical drive into place, which also needs to be taken out. And then you can remove the other bottom screws that are that are visible. And the next set of screws needs to be removed from under the little rubber stoppers. So the top set here is what's holding the hinge in place as well. And then the next set, there's another set of screws under the rubber stopper that are a little bit smaller, and these need to be removed too. And once you have all the bottom screws removed, you can use whatever pry tool you'd like to start removing that bottom panel. I prefer a guitar pick because it's pretty thin and goes in between the bottom case and the chassis pretty nicely. And you just want to work that pry tool around until you get the little pieces to pop up that will allow you to remove the bottom panel. Sometimes it's helpful to get it started with a thin pry tool and then take a little bit larger one and go around it after you have it a little bit popped up. This one was a little bit more difficult than the HP NV17 that I did an SSD replacement on recently. So it can take a little bit of work, but just be careful and don't get frustrated. You want to be careful by that optical drive spot too. You want to make sure when you're pulling up on it and applying pressure that you also put some some of the pry tool under those little tabs like I'm doing right here. So I'm pulling up on it but also putting the pry tool underneath those little tabs under the optical drive. And so now that I got the bottom part pried up a little bit, I'm going to work it from the front here. And that really helped everything out. And so now I have access to this internal battery. And I ended up removing the, or detaching rather, the hard drive cable. Uh, I didn't want to take out the battery and rip a cable or something because it was slightly in the way so I kind of pushed it out of the way there to make sure I didn't break something and then there's just two screws that hold the battery into place uh, or I'm sorry it's three screws on this one I believe for that battery to be held into place and those just need to be removed and this thing just pops right out of there it's kind of up and down really easy to remove and replace. And when you have it open here, you have access to the SSD. You could do a RAM upgrade, change the Wi-Fi card. Lots of things you can do once that bottom panel is removed. So now I'm putting in the replacement battery, just making sure to get that cable out of the way. And you just want to line it up properly and push it down snug right there like I'm doing. make sure that thing's making good contact. And 
And then now I'm just going to put everything back together, screw the battery back in, hook the hard drive cable back up and get that bottom panel screwed back into place. And one thing to note on this HP 15, there is no CMOS battery on the motherboard, so this battery, the internal battery here, basically acts as the CMOS. So once I turned this thing back on, uh, the BIOS was cleared, I had to reset the date and time, but the big thing was that it wouldn't boot into Windows. So what I had to do is I had to go into the BIOS settings and mess around with some of the UEFI and legacy settings there to get it to boot properly so don't fret if you turn it back on and the computer doesn't boot it might just be something that you have to change in the BIOS settings that got cleared because when you remove that internal battery that cleared your BIOS Just try to remember to keep those two sets of screws separate. The larger ones go over the hinge and the smaller ones go over the, the bottom of it. And now that everything's screwed back into place, we can power it up and check out the battery. Thanks so much for watching, guys.